Okay, so I think we are good to start. We have enough number. So, um, hello everyone. Good evening. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Priyanka Deshmukh. I am an ITU Career Center Manager. And uh, uh, we started a series of uh, having different elements. How do we, how do we uh, build our LinkedIn profile, how to look for the job title, how do we create our resume. So first we started with our uh, job title research. Then we talk about resume creation. Then we learned how do we build powerful LinkedIn profile. And now today uh, we are talking about how do we do job application and how do we increase our rate of doing job application. So I will be sharing my experience with you all and later Eric will join us and uh, he will also share his experience. And uh, in the end, if you have any question, please ask us. And uh, if anybody, any, anybody want me to um, revise the previous section, let me know. Okay, so we'll start with job application. You can all uh, hear me, right? Hello? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So, uh, so first thing in job application is very important, like, we should know about the job uh, job description and uh, since we know like in many platform like linkedin and indeed we have many filters to do job, job to filter out uh, our job uh, job title so now uh, after doing after applying filters now the the list which come out after filtering after applying filter is our relevant job which is very uh, very very much relevant to our profile which we want uh, which we applied uh, want to apply for so we don't need to read out job des description very thoroughly we just uh, look go through once uh, to the job description and note down the important keywords which we get from the job description like for example in indeed here i typed uh, here here uh, if i want to apply this uh, this application entry level job uh, and entry level web developer uh, i will read out its uh, its job description and look for the key keyword like they want multitasking people they want experienced in html javascript they want troubleshooting strong visualization so this type of keyword i should be included in my uh, in my notes so now, uh, since now, uh, since I have uh, different keyword from the job uh, from the job description, I should include it in my resume. So according to that keyword, I should uh, tailor my resume. So this is the third step. Now, uh, we should we should have a cover letter cover letter ready, so that we can uh apply to different job it is not compulsory step but it's good to have a ready-made cover letter and uh, you can uh, you can find on online multiple template for the cover letter and in that cover letter also you should uh, mention the key keyword you found from the job description so tailor your keyword uh, tailor your cover letter according to the job description now in many job they want to write a message to hiring hiring manager or you want to approach some um, some employee from some company and they want you want to refer refer you in their company so you should have a short cover letter including your name your current uh, uh, education your past experience and uh, your skills so your uh, you should prepare your short cover letter and it ha it should not have more than uh, four or five sentences so it's it's good to have ready made um, short cover letter also with full cover letter and uh, so what i always do is 
whenever I applied for a job in the next tab, I always open a uh, word document and in that word document, I added short, short cover letter, my LinkedIn profile and any website, website link, which I want to share with the employer, my GitHub link and some commonly asked question, like, why are you good? Uh, good fit for this position. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about your strength and all this uh, general, general, generally asked questions. And um, you will get to know more about this type of question when you start applying more. And whenever you you come across with some new question, try to add their answer in your word document. So try to prepare the word document. It is very useful and it will save a lot of uh, a lot of your time. So it should have uh, the past experiences like company name, job title, description, and education detail like college name, degree name, course, uh, and some uh, course which you took in your past which are relevant to your job description. You can add that also. So most of the common platform which companies accept your job description are like Workday, Indeed Direct Apply, LinkedIn Easy Apply, Company uh, Career Side, and other job uh, job portals. I'm sure you might uh, come you might come across with a lot of more different job portal, but that's all uh, I can think of it right now. And uh, for me, job uh, applying job uh, applying for job uh, through Workday is very time consuming because every day every time. Uh, workday ask for n number of information from you, like your job job description, your past experience, your um, um, your education, and some voluntary questions. So it's it's good to have some ready made uh, question with you in your word document. And um, so, like in our past uh, past session, we talk about you should you should uh, you should decide some number uh, to apply for a for a job in a day like you should apply for 40 for 30 for 50 job application in a day eric used to do uh, he he told me like he used to do uh, 200 200 application in a day which is like a huge but for me i set my limit to 20 which is uh, like very minimum limit. I should increase it now, but it's good to have some limit for, for your job, applica uh, job application. So in some time, uh, you got uh, busy with your other work and you don't have time to apply for job application. So try to do LinkedIn easy apply. So there is one filter in a LinkedIn easy apply. Uh, so you, you just, you just, click that uh, filter and uh, the job application which come out in that page uh, is, uh, is are all easy apply. So it will, uh, it, it will just uh, need minimum information from you and uh, you can apply as many as uh, application you want. So this is the one option like applying job application through LinkedIn easy apply. And uh, Okay, so this this we already covered. Like every time you come across with some new question, you should uh, you should uh, save the answer in in your word document. So 